What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some filters from Tiffin, the Black Satin FX filter set. Now I have here the 1 8 1 quarter, half, and one stop of black satin, but this goes all the way up to five, doubling every time you go up a filter stop. Now last time I did one of these filter test videos, you guys absolutely loved it. You left a lot of great comments and feedback and hopefully I'm gonna implement some of those in this video today to help you out even a little more deciding on which filter you wanna use. Now according to Tiffin, the black satin filters are designed to soften contrast and highlights. They're also there to help reduce wrinkles and sort of blemishes on skin tones and kind of smooth out those textures while keeping overall sharpness. They also have a little bit of halation around the lights or blooming around hard lights. There's also a slight warming effect with some granularity over the entire image. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all of these different diffusion levels with a bunch of different light sources from Christmas lights, as you can see over on my right, from a China ball or bigger, softer source, as well as just a bare bulb. And I'm also gonna be showing you with my phone light. So it's kind of a harder point source light that I can move around the frame and some flames on a little candle, just so you can see all these different light sources and how this affects them, as well as those skin tones. If you wanna see that other filter test that I did with the Black Pro Mist filter series, I'm gonna throw a link to that video right up here so you can definitely go and check that out. Without further ado, let's dive right in, starting off with the 1 8 filter. This is black satin at 1 8 diffusion, and here it is with my light, and you can see all of these other lights behind me. This is the 1 8 diffusion filter at 70 millimeters, looking at the skin texture and detail in my face. And you can also see a little bit of the halation and blooming of the lights in the background with the bare bulb. And then lastly, we're gonna look at a flame so you can see how it looks with a moving, more natural light. This is black satin at 1 quarter diffusion. Here it is with my light and all of the other lights behind me. This is the one quarter diffusion and we're at 70 millimeters on this lens. And we're looking at the skin texture and detail in my face. And you can also see a little bit of the blooming and highlights and the halation of the lights behind me. And then a small little candle so you can see how it looks with a flame. This is the black satin filter at one half diffusion. And you should start to be seeing quite a bit more of the effect now, seeing a lot of halation around the light bulbs and a little bit more smoothing in the skin and texture areas. So jumping into the close up of my face, this is the half diffusion filter at 70 millimeters on this lens. And we're looking at the skin texture and detail in my face, as well as being able to see a little bit of the halation and blooming of the highlights with the bare bulbs in the background. And then going into the candlelight. This is the black satin at a diffusion level of one. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of halation around the lights or blooming around those hard point lights like my flashlight and the bare bulb behind me. And you're starting to see a lot more smoothing in the skin and kind of a softening of the overall image. If you wanted to, you could increase the effect by getting a diffusion level of five, which is about eight times the effect of what you're seeing right now. And this is the full one diffusion filter at 70 millimeters on this lens. And we're really looking at the skin texture and detail and how it smooths all of that out in my face. You can also see a little bit of the halation and blooming of highlights with the bare bulb behind me. And then going into that fire so you can see how it works with a natural light and a small flame. And then going into sort of our comparisons for each of these scenarios. So on the top here, we're gonna have our control or our no filter. So this is just the plain shot coming out of the camera. And then the bottom one is gonna have all of the different filters applied to it. As you can see, we're at 35 millimeters at an F4, and this is with the quarter black satin. You can see we have some nice halation around the bulb, so really softening up of those highlights, kind of blooming them out, and a little bit of smoothing up in the face. There's also a very noticeable warming up of the image with the black satin filter. And then going up to our full black satin filter, and as you can see, the halations and blooming around the lights is staying pretty much the same, as well as that warmer cast. It's not really intensifying as we go into these heavier density filters, but you should be noticing a lot more smoothing out of the textures in the images and on my skin. Now going into the 70 millimeters to really look at that skin tone, again, starting off with our weakest filter at 1 8 you can see we're getting a nice softening up of the filter, losing a little bit of the detail and just kind of smoothing the whole thing out, as well as that halation in the 
lights. Going up to one quarter, it's definitely starting to soften up the image quite a bit more. Again, we're at 70 millimeters here. And as we go up to the next stop at one half, you can see that effect even more kind of smoothing out the skin, which looks really nice on this frame. You also get that same sort of blooming and warming up of the image. And then going up to one for our heaviest density filter, you can see we're getting some really nice smoothing of my skin and not losing too much sharpness there either, which is really nice. But even at this full black satin, it's not a super strong effect and there's not a ton of variation between the one eighth, one quarter, half and this full. And then going to our last test, looking at the flame and the interesting thing here, cause there's not a ton of halation and blooming around the candle itself is actually the bokeh in the background. If you look at it, you can see it as we step up through these different filter sets, you can see more and more of that detail of the actual filter glass which is pretty interesting. So go back through these and look at the bokeh in the background on the bottom image. So that is the full diffusion filter test going from 1 8 all the way up to one full diffusion filter of the black satin. If you wanna try any of these out on your next project, there's gonna be a link in the description down below where you can go to rent it. If you have any questions about this or you wanna let me know what your favorite diffusion filter level is, so going from 1 8 quarter, half, or full, let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you wanna check out that other filter video test where I do the black pro mist, I'll throw a link to it over here as well as at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, got a little bit out of it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.